pumpkin pie martini. Um, we did not have all of the ingredients, but you That's work with what, you work with what you got. And so I didn't even have a martini glass, but I thought this glass was very fitting. This works. I, it totally works. Um, but I said a key component in this, the two major things, again, I don't tend to do anything that's over like five ingredients, is the pumpkin puree. I would have done more of that just to make it more orange. And then the vanilla vodka. Okay. Mm. So let's go see how it tastes. Cheers to you. And I love the cinnamon <clears throat> stick. I might have a mustache at the end of this. I think it needs something. It needs rum. <laughs> oh, it needs the rum. It needs rum. We're out of rum. Yeah. It's very vanilla y. What I can think it was more pumpkin. It tastes like a marshmallow. It does! That's what it is! <laughs> it tastes exactly like a marshmallow. Okay. But it has kind of a cool texture and. And it looks super fancy. It looks so pretty. It kind of, I mean, I almost didn't want to drink it because it was so pretty. I was like, look how cute it is. It tastes like a burned marshmallow. But I feel like this would be a great alternative to do something different than your normal dessert. Yeah. Especially if, like you're single. Especially yeah. Especially the single life, doing the single thing and like having just some a Friendsgiving or a little get together. Like mm -hmm. this could be perfect. But this would be again, more puree party. and have the room on hand because. But definitely like. We ran out. It's like, it's like a dessert. It is a dessert. Yeah, because it's very sweet. See, would you rather eat your calories or drink your calories? I'm asking. You know. On most, what would you do? On most nights, I prefer to drink them, yes. Okay, drink my calories. See, I'd rather drink my calories. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have vegetables for dinner and then a glass of wine. Yeah. Just like, I would rather do that. Like, then, I yeah. think drinking your calories, but still, there's some people that definitely would rather eat their calories and drink their calories. Anyways. Fair enough. Thought in my head, yeah, we eat dinner, and it's like, I could have a cookie, or I could or, have a drink. Yep. <laughs> And usually by the end of the day, I'm ready for that drink. With Thanksgiving around the corner. Yeah. Next week. We finalized the table. <laughs> yeah, we finalized the table. Everything's looking good. Mm -hmm. um, but these are something that Brittany had brought up. Brittany, talk about these mm -hmm. because these are lovely. I don't know if, if you guys have ever heard of wood burning before. I made tags last year for my Christmas stockings where I burned in like the kids' names and like mom and dad and hung them on the stockings. So when we were talking about doing Thanksgiving table decorating, and we're talking about like place place cards and like all that, right. stuff, I thought it'd be kind of a cute idea to do these. These little wood discs just come from Hobby Lobby. It's like, I don't know, like I got these four... on Amazon too, a little bit. Oh yeah, you probably could get these on Amazon too, yeah. honestly. I like yours a little bit better though. They're a little more not so cheap looking. There's the little twine thing and everything was already built in. Oh, it was? Yep, did I did that? not have to do that. Oh, that's what I like. Now I was prepared to do that, but I did not have to. I just use a wood burning tool. Again, you can get it at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, probably Walmart. Mm -hmm. I'm I sure want to try that out. I want to see how you do that because I do not know. I have yeah. an idea, but I also like that you didn't. Wait, so how did you do this stencil on top? So all I did was I went on to my computer, Word document, typed out what I wanted to say in the font that I wanted. Now I- The fancy things, the you fan did that? No. No, how'd you the get that? The fancy things I went on to Canva. Oh, but you still edit those? Yeah, but I just kind of put them on there just to kind of give a little Cause that's layer. what I, I felt like really made it just a little bit extra. Yeah. Which I love. But so I thought this would be great for two different ways. Um, one for, again, a place card, so you know mm -hmm. where people sit, so you can do a name, or you can mm -hmm. just do a generic thankful. Yeah. Um, but also a take home for them. This could be like an yeah, ornament then. Like I love that it's like a little take home uh -huh. that they can have then. Um, but also another idea for um, stockings. Mm -hmm. I know you've used them for stockings before. Now is the time, guys. Yeah. Um, and we, we're selling these. We're selling these? I can sell these. And we're selling these. So if you want to order some for your stockings, I bet you Brittany can do a dynamite job. Yeah, but I love these. These really added to the decor of the table. I feel like these made the table. Oh, it was like good. a, it's more of a natural look too. I was going yeah. for more of like a, that, that seems to be a trending thing right now. It's more of a natural, organic, mm -hmm. like, and so this really like tied into my table and my decor really well, so. I actually have some wood slices that I had ordered from from like a needle felting place thing that I was doing. But anyway, they're like, I mean, they smell good. They smell Ooh. like the wood. You could do the essential Ooh. oils on those yeah. too. Yeah. That would be a great little teacher gift too. Teacher oh, gift. Yeah, you could do like a whole like thing with that. Ooh, that's good. We got something there. <laughs> so after the Thanksgiving feast, so you have the people over, you clean up. Yeah, it was the women. All of them, like after we ate, 
the all the guys i'm not really sure where all the men went honestly but because all of us girls like we we hit the kitchen and we all did it together okay so it that's what we did in my house too yeah and it that's was done what quick. we did in my house mm -hmm. so yeah. you always use like the fine china for my mom and ants and stuff yeah we so the adults use, yeah we always use like the real pretty plates and everything okay so everything got to be hand washed at the end <laughs> yeah so when i'm staging a table i'm like okay do people want the practical look? and so this year i did a mix of like the real plates and the paper plates because a lot of times on the holidays it's anymore because mm -hmm. it's just so much easier i never registered for fine china i don't know i never did either and you know what? I shouldn't keep that a secret. I should yell that from the rooftops because that was one of the best decisions I ever made. Like, because I don't think I'd ever use it and I don't have a place to store it. So I got all Fiesta wear, which mm -hmm. people that follow me, they know I'm all about the Fiesta wear. Yep. And so I like, I just used that and I'm so grateful that I did not get the fine china. That didn't, mm -hmm. it just isn't my thing. I was gifted china. Like Ooh, from my yeah, I do like that. Now I do like that idea because I like that idea. Yeah, because that was then it's passed like, down. Yeah, it's a pass. So it has some thing. history to it. Yes. So I have one set that's from my mother-in-law. That was her china. I had a friend of mine, who I will also tout as the one who got me started with my business and everything. She's a wonderful lady. She has seen my post that I got in these dishes, and she like I saw her like the following week. She's like, I have those same dishes. She's like, they've been living in a box for like 25 years. She's like, do you want them? They match. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and so she gives me, so now like, it's just even more special. Like when I do pull those yeah. plates out, cause it's yep. not, it's not often. It's only yep. for really special occasions. Yep. And it's like, oh, it's like, it's my mother-in-law and it's in its grace. And it's, I will pass down these dishes to one of my kids one day. But as far as like going out and buying them, no. Or like asking for them on a registry. Yeah, because that's expensive. It's so expensive. Yeah. Like I'd rather put a down payment on a house than have fine Yana. Like that's really what it comes down to. Yeah. When you get married, like I just wanted to go on a really great honeymoon. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's good too. I'm like, let's just go on a trip. I spent a good chunk of my money on the photographer. I love our I loved our photographer. Which I think that's a good thing to invest in. I think so too. Because you keep that stuff. You those uh, yeah. pictures. I am all about, you know, a special occasions, making the memories, break out the fine china, mm -hmm. like go all out. Like, and with kids too, yeah. I don't give kids the fine china. I give no. kids the, the paper plate. Yeah. And so that's what I had staged for my Thanksgiving table is that paper plate because I'm like, okay, that's what I would really do. Now back when we were younger, using paper plates wasn't really an yeah, option. Yeah. Well, because they didn't have like cute paper plates. But now I mean they have like they look like they real look. dishes. They yeah. look like like, I felt like it, it added to my decor of my yeah. table with the paper plates because it has a big turkey on it. That's yeah, and it's great. cute. At the end of the day, like, who cares? It's it's supposed to be fun. You're supposed to enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, you're doing something wrong. I don't <laughs> like that. Like this time of year, it is so easy to get overwhelmed and stressed out and just like, and then you're just like, I don't want to do any of it. I'm done. I'm yeah. checking out. I don't want to do it. Yeah. It's like that just. Or you're just checking it off the list of like, okay, yeah. Thanksgiving's over with. And I'm I'll calling myself out on that because like I'm just like okay mm -hmm. like let's just get this done with let's get this over with when really I think Thanksgiving and those holidays is when you can truly spend time with the people that you really love like mm -hmm. friends or family and yep. having that engaging conversation with the electronics down. And I say that like I don't mean to be lecturing anybody because I know I'm just as guilty of all this like me too. I get so consumed and wrapped up with all the like I have to do this I have to do that I have to like all the things I got to do before you know it now it's just it's a chore. It's and, a chore. And especially mm -hmm. if you're hosting when you, everyone's coming to your house. So, it can be so stressful. So stressful. And, it's, and then you start Because you want things about, to be perfect. Yeah. Like the house being cleaned up and everything in order. I really like how my friend had said this. Every time I come to her house, she's just like, you know, don't judge me on my house. It's lived in. And I was like, you know what? I kind of <laughs> like exactly that term, it. lived in. Yeah. Like, let's just pull it back a little bit. Like yeah. what really is mattering in this moment? Mm -hmm. Now I say that. Now I don't know if I'm actually going to be doing that, but that's what I want. I will say that like, if I know someone's coming over, well, who am I kidding? I will clean. I will clean. I'll just keep cleaning until they show up. Even if it's just fake cleaned. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, like they brought that up on the news the other day. Where do you put stuff in your house? <laughs> like if you are to do a quick clean, uh -huh. where, and people are coming over last minute, your house is a mess, what do you do? I have a hall closet. Yep. Closet. Yep. Shove it. The closets are probably my first go-to. The laundry room, 
because I can just shut that door. Even like my bedroom, because I feel like nobody goes to like the master mm -hmm. bedroom for anything, so shut that door. Except for <laughs> my, I mean, our master bedroom is You're right off the right kitchen. There. Like it's like, there is it, everything's there. Unless but you can just doors, shut the door. You know what my mother used to do? Oh, oh my mother, poor mother. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Um, we love mom. We love mom. <laughs> she would shove things in the oven. No way. <laughs> shove stuff, and I don't mean like, like laundry. Like uh -huh. I mean like the dirty dishes or the pans, we'd shove it all in the oven. Uh huh. But then the thing is, is that we'd forget that they were in the oven. Oh no. <laughs> and then we turn the oven on and we're like, what is that smell? What's in the oven? So. <laughs> We don't do that any longer. My mother. Let's not do that. <laughs> we don't recommend this. <laughs> Although I, I will say this. I am, I am making an effort to not apologize for my house. That is anymore. so good. Yes. Like, Preach. Yes. It's something like when I go to someone else's house, like I genuinely, it doesn't bother me. If See, I I'm, in, totally, I'm doing yes, the same thing. Like, I I'm don't doing care. the same thing. I don't care if you have dishes I'm doing the same sink. thing. I don't care if there's shoes. I mean, toys. I don't whatever. care. I don't care. So, and when I go to someone's house and they're apologizing to me, I'm like, dude, I don't, don't, I, don't, I, I don't, I don't care. No judgment here. Don't care. Yep. So I'm trying to be that way. I don't, I don't want to apologize for my, my house is clean. I mean, you can come over at any point and it's basically clean. We're not dirty people. It's like, so it's fine. Like I don't need to apologize for my house. Yep. <laughs> so I'm trying, I'm making That's a really good. conscious I like that. effort. I'm doing the same thing. Yeah. We all should. Yeah. Do not we apologize all for your house. Don't, Don't do apologize. It. No. You're fine. Girl, stop apologizing. You're good. That's a great book. That um, is a good book. <laughs> gave me that book. Um, wedding. Uh, we had everybody over, a bridal shower, just had his family, my family, and close friends. And Derek, who has just, he's very clean. Like, his mm -hmm. whole family's very clean. But, like, we're not like uber clean, mm -hmm. like Derek's uber clean. And so instead of, and again, my mom coached me up in like entertaining guests and what mm -hmm. that looks like and having conversation. Yeah. Like, so when he's there, what Derek does, again, this is like kind of first impressions, like I'm mixing and mingling, making sure everybody has a drink or whatever they need. Appetizers are full, toilet paper's in the toilet paper roll, yes. like little things That's like that. Point. It is a little thing <laughs> like that. And Derek is upstairs vacuuming and cleaning. Well, everybody else is downstairs, but it's like, it's like he, it's like his thing. Like he doesn't yeah. know what to do with himself. So he'd yeah. rather like do the, the cleaning or I think maybe the thing that he can control or mm -hmm. like that. I think what, how he was raised is like, you, you know, always have a clean house. Yeah. And so just him and I, which I love that our house, like I'm almost never embarrassed about our house because mm -hmm. it's always just clean because yeah. well Derek's always cleaning and it just is I'm grateful in that way. Like, <laughs> it's a good problem. Like, that's a great, that's a great problem. <laughs> like his outlet is vacuuming. Like okay like I really can't go too wrong with that. The balance of so when to clean and maybe not to clean yeah. or. And making a conscious effort not like stop. Like it's just like stop. stop. That's fine. Just stop. Like, well and I don't think people care nearly as much as we think they do. No, I don't think so either. Because like I said, like when I go to someone's house, I am not looking in the corners. I am not, like I'm not looking See, for See, I mess. do look in the corner. When I go to the bathroom. Stop it. When I go to <laughs> well, the bathroom. Well, that's different because you're sitting there and you're looking yeah, around. Yeah, you're looking around. <laughs> I always look at like the baseboards. Uh -huh. oh. And I'm so impressed with people that have clean baseboards. So you're not going to be impressed at my house. You're not going to be impressed at my house. <laughs> <laughs> when do I need baseboards? <laughs> I was like, pay somebody too. Uh, and they also were talking on the news about the smell of the house. The smell of the house. Oh man, smell so is such a that, thing for me. So again, if you have people coming over like lickety split and right. you can't do much, you shove stuff in the closet and you light a candle. Right. That's like that. It's right. so true. It's true. It's so true. If if your house smells good, a lot of sins can be forgiven with good smells. Uh, yep. I agree. I agree. I agree. Growing up, our house was like a model. I mean, it was. Oh, really? Yes. Are you not drinking your puree, ma I'm sorry. your marshmallow My drink? My marshmallow. It got better with time. What's in here? Vodka? Kicking in for you? Oh, maybe that's like, hey, that's like, actually like, really good. <laughs> no, the top really tastes good with the, the whipped cream mm. and the puree. Even the cinnamon's pretty good. Yeah, that's very good. I remember hearing the story all the time like, five kids. The five kids would go to bed and she would wax the floors at night. That was my grandmother. So that, so my mother grew up like that was normal to her to have a spotless home all the time. My mom had a full-time job on top of <laughs> taking the house and yeah. raising the kids. Mm -hmm. And so like, so on the weekends, my sister and I, our, our job was to clean. We had to clean the house top to bottom. I mean, and I mean, and I'm not talking dusting and vacuuming. We waxed furniture. We were on our hands. We were not allowed to use a mop because it left streaks. 
Yes. Oh my gosh, yes, hands that was not my house. On the floor, we had to clean hands and knees. And on my mom's days off, she would go through and like clean all the things that we didn't clean. She washed, like washing windows. When was the last time you washed your windows? Not a clue. I never wash windows. I'm sure it would make my house look so much better if no, I did. No, I never wash windows. I don't wash windows. But, all the time. but kind of to a fault, like to the point when people came over, it was almost uncomfortable. I was like, don't touch okay. anything. Yeah. There's a happy medium there. There's a happy medium. <laughs> you know, every Sunday night, my sister and I had a responsibility of cleaning the bathroom. Mm. And sister, you know you didn't do your parts. Busted. You didn't do your part. <laughs> Anyways, I always cleaned the bathroom. We're not there. I cleaned it well. <laughs> <laughs> but she'd always do her end of the bargain. I just remember cleaning for the cleaning lady. We clean for the cleaning lady. Yeah, well, you I do that I mean? now. Yeah. I have a cleaning lady who comes like we every two weeks. We do that now. And yeah, but like the, well. Do you have a cleaning lady who comes every two weeks? Yes. That's good. That's, That's it. good. And stuff. I'm going to tell you why. One, because when I spend all day cleaning my house and then people come home and leave their shoes, leave their junk living all over the place, it pisses me off and I get mad. But you know, when okay. she comes in and cleans the house and people do all that, I'm just like, oh, okay. And I just kind of go with it. And I'm like, oh. it doesn't bother me nearly as much because I don't take it nearly as personally. Huh. Yeah. yeah. I don't have that problem. <laughs> I have that problem. <laughs> I don't have that problem at all. Here's your car. Oh, that's your car. <laughs> we could have taken more responsibility. You want some more? <laughs> that's <really> good. <laughs> There's a car outside. <laughs> <laughs> Whose car is that? <laughs> oh, okay.